Okay, people. So I don't know how to make my eyes not shine here now, but well, oh, whatever. So I wear glasses sometimes. It's nothing new at all. It's just because sometimes I'm spending too much time near computer working on things and things get not visible anymore sometimes. But that's fine. I'm not going blind. I'm just not seeing very well sometimes. Anyways, what I wanted to talk to you about today is, well, did you know Christmas is coming and it's like three weeks left till Christmas? And I don't know how about you, but I was crazy scared to go shopping and I haven't done any shopping. So I need to make all my gifts myself. And I thought, what it is so secret, what I cannot share with you what I'm making. So basically today I want to show you three things you can make at home for your friends as a gift, like for friends or family. Like I'm saying that because I know not we, we cannot meet many people even on Christmas and on New Year's and all that. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's not start politics. Anyways, if you want to gift something for someone on Christmas time, you still can post it. And all gifts I am making, they are tiny, small and really, really postage cost friendly. So I think we can start. So what is in my gift list ideas? Well, we all like self-care. So all kinds of self-pampering stuff, which is cool and nice and smells good. We all like that, don't we? So I don't know how to make bath bombs, but I know it's quite easy. However, I had from previous time previous time from some time, uh, a little bit of soap making kit. So basically it's crystal soap mass which you need to melt in the pot and then put the coloring and flavorings in it, like scents. And you can make your own soap bars, which is really, really cool and looks really beautiful. So I'm gonna show you that. So first thing is soap bars. Uh, another thing I'm going to share with you how I'm making is Christmas pens. It's really easy, you can find all ingredients in Tesco's or any kind of supermarket, I would say, maybe, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to Tesco's mostly, so I don't know, maybe it's in Sainsbury or Asda too. I don't know, but I mean, it's accessibly easy, you know, or you can just buy it online, doesn't matter. Anyways, so this is the Christmas pens. And another thing, the last one is like so obvious, but you can make your own Christmas cards, really, like... I know that those you can buy is really beautiful and cute and amazing and they're really, really well made. But sometimes to make a little hint of yourself, it's not that difficult and it gives a lot of joy for the person who gets it, doesn't it? So I thought like you'll need just thicker than normal paper. I'm not even bothering to use watercolor paper. Well, if you have, use that because it's thick and nice and very sturdy, but... and. Yeah, I think I'm talking too much right now. Let's get started. Okay, so soap making for friends and family is probably the most fun and the most easy thing you can do. Well, originally, don't look at me what I'm doing because I've done a mistake to begin with, but you need to chop the soap block into small cubes and put it into the empty saucepan so it can melt evenly. And this black saucepan we will put into the big saucepan which has water in it, the boiling water, and we will melt it that way. Uh, it seemed like melting chocolate, I think. And yeah, well, because I didn't chop it into small pieces, I had a hard time chopping it in the bowl and trying not to have any water in it. Anyways, it's melted and I put some essential oils in it. I think it was coconut flavor and it smelled heavenly. And I think from now on, it's ready to pour into my bread mold. Well, foil separation thing didn't work, obviously. And for coloring, just be very modest about the coloring, because I think I use too much. It seems like three little drops, but it spreads way faster than I imagined. 
So basically stir using anything what you have and leave it to set for a couple hours until it's hard and solid. Okay, so do you remember the soap? I think it's already solid and we can start cutting it into smaller pieces and wrap it as a nice nice gift. Or shouldn't we wrap it yet? Because maybe we will do something more later on? I don't know. Well, anyways, the soap is ready to cut, so at least do that, shall we? Okay, and now after we've done all that is the most satisfying part is cutting the soap. I'm watching so much videos on YouTube how people are cutting soap and their soap is much much better looking than mine but it's still it's so satisfying to do it. You must do it just for the therapy I would say. <laughs> Anyways, I decided to slice it into four pieces, five pieces maybe, I don't know, five pieces had come up and uh, it looks amazing, it smells amazing and I can't wait to wrap it to my friends and family as a gift. And now it's time for handmade Christmas cards. Well, I must say, firstly, as a disclaimer, I'm not a professional card maker, so please don't judge me. And I'm pretty sure there is people, a lot of people, who can do it much better than I'm doing. But if we're doing all this DIY Christmas gifts to friends and family, so let's do the Christmas cards as well, because this is how we're doing at home things simple and very very full of love that's it i'm telling you so anyways uh, i decided to use watercolors because this is my favorite medium if you like gouache acrylics whatever you like it is just use it it doesn't matter as long as you are able to produce nice picture probably nicer than i did and uh, yeah that's gonna be great just a little bit of patience of that because we all know painting takes time And also, a little trick I used, I have um, gold watercolors, like gold and glitter, metallic I would say. So I used gold and I used silver for these uh, as like a splashes to make it a little bit more festive. Also, as usual, I'm using a little bit of pencils to enhance the shape and making look a little bit better and usually it helps a lot for me so please let me know in the comments below how do you like to do your watercolor are you using pencils are you not using pencils and if you have any advice how to do it better please let me know also if you're feeling super creative today why not to try some calligraphy handmade calligraphy this is what i'm trying to do well and my attempt is some kind of semi all right i would say well calligraphy is that thing that i have very strong opinions about and i think i need an entire new video to talk about nowadays understanding of calligraphy but anyways it's not about that look i'm writing holidays but like double l so it's a holy and it's days it's not holidays so i think it's great fun maybe I don't know, I'm not the best person to say puns, I think. Okay, Christmas card is almost done. I should concentrate on what I'm talking about. It's really hard to voice over sometimes. And yeah, my tip if you're trying to do something like I'm doing, write it with a pencil very, very slightly so you see what you're doing because otherwise it can be very hot mess. And once your creative juices stopped flowing, that's it, that's the result and it's not that bad. Okay, so last but not least, I decided to do some hardcore with you. Well, hardcore crafts, if that's the say. So basically this is air drying clay, you can get it everywhere in 
like everywhere, literally every superstore. You have a razor blade slash knife, which is very, very sharp. And please be careful with your fingers. And we're gonna do some very simple Christmas related pins. Also, we will need glue stick, but it's not for gluing, it's for rolling. Okay, so after the long, long time of thinking of what exactly should I make from that clay, I decided to use the most versatile shape, in my opinion, which is triangles. If you don't use triangles, do whatever you like, but this is my choice and this is what I'm planning to do with it. I'm not gonna tell you, you need to watch. Anyways, after I cut them, I let them to air dry for about eight hours or actually I left it overnight. I mean, obviously I didn't film it because who wants to watch eight hours of completely standstill drying process. Anyways, once it's dry, we can start painting. For the painting and coloring, I decided to use acrylic paint because to be honest, I have only watercolors or acrylics and nothing else. So that was one of the things why I decided. But anyways, uh, I prefer to use acrylics because it's more reliable and it's waterproof once it's dry. So I'm just covering all my triangles in green. And soon I understood that it's not the best solution, however, because it would be better if I would gesso it first. So if you don't have gesso, you will just need to add a little bit more layers. But if you have gesso, mix some gesso into your green, blue, yellow, whichever color you decided to choose. And that will allow you to cover it more smoothly and more evenly with less layers. So probably you already noticed that I'm planning to make some Christmas trees and Christmas elf or Santa maybe. Depends who will look simil more similar to Santa or elf or gnome. I don't know yet. I can't confirm. But yeah, it's pretty time consuming process, but um, it's really great activity to kill your time if you have plenty of it, just like me right now. And uh, yeah, even I think if you have kids, I mean, I can't say because I don't have any kids anywhere nearby in my very close environment but if you have kids that also could be a great activity to spend Christmas holidays or any spare time like long weekends long evenings it's just very very calming and very nice and very fun and you can create everything absolutely everything
All right, and probably the last part or one of the last parts. Um, I'm leaving to dry all the acrylic paint and once it's completely dry, I'm pouring some UV resin on it. Well, I know people are very, very mixed feelings about resin, but I use it and I'm trying to use it carefully and safely. If you are refusing to use resin because you think it's toxic and so on and so that, that's your opinion, that's absolutely fine. You do need to use resin for that. So you don't need this UV light to harden it. You can use Mod Podge instead. That's gonna work just exactly the same. It will, it will be a little bit less shiny, but it will still protect the paint. If that's the most important part of it. And of course, don't forget to color your backs because it's important, really. It just looks much better if everything is covered in color. And once the backs will be done, completed, fully in color and dry, we can start gluing up those pins. Well, I bought mine on eBay ages ago and ages and ages and ages ago, so I can't leave you a link, but you can get it on eBay either on Amazon uh, and yeah, basically glue the pins with a um, super glue. I use E6000, but if you don't have it or you have just ordinary super glue, it's gonna be absolutely fine. And leave it to sit completely. And again, if you are using, or if you are using, uh, Jesus, I can't talk anymore. Okay, if you are using epoxy resin or UV resin, cover that in resin just for extra security. If you don't, you may want to much podge it again uh, so it doesn't leave any residue, green residue, let's say, on your clothing, you know, just in case. Or just give it to your friends as it is, it doesn't matter. I mean, it already looks beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so I think that's it for today. I showed everything what I had in mind at the moment and I hoped you really, really liked it. And please let me know in the comments below which of the tutorials you liked the most. Also, don't forget to subscribe for this video, press that like button and see you in next video. Bye!